I was born January 19, 1807, Stratford Hall, Westmoreland County, Virginia. My father, Henry Lee, better known as Light Horse Harry Lee, George Washington's preeminent cavalry commander in our first war for independence. My mother, Ann Hill Carter, direct descendant of King Carter, Williamsburg, Virginia. When I was six years old, my father placed himself into self-exile in Barbados, leaving my mother and my siblings in dire financial straits. Ultimately, in 1825, as I was prepared to attend college, my mother did not have the financial wherewithal to send me to the University of Virginia, so I was successful in earning an appointment to the United States Military Academy at West Point from whence I graduated in 1829. I remained in the United States Army, receiving various promotions. 1846, I was serving under General Winfield Scott in Mexico. Served there with him from 1846 to 1848. Then from 1852 to 1855, I was the superintendent at West Point. Upon completion of those responsibilities, I was signed to the 1st U.S. Cavalry in San Antonio, Texas. I remained there until 1857 when I returned to Arlington House Plantation upon the death of my father-in-law to assist my wife in taking care of the finances of Arlington House Plantation. But that was home. That is where I was in 1859 when I was called upon to go to Harper's Ferry to discuss some surrender terms from John Brown. In 1859, I returned to San Antonio where I was in command of the 2nd U.S. Cavalry, remained there until 1861 when I was beckoned back to Washington City where I was to meet with Francis Blair acting on behalf of Secretary of War Simon Cameron and Abraham Lincoln. He offered me command of the United States Army. As a Virginian, I could not possibly bring myself to accept that promotion. Four days after the offer, I submitted my resignation as a Colonel of the United States Army, which also included my rejection of command of the United States Army. From 1862 to 1865, I was in command of the Army in Northern Virginia. And during those three years, on battlefields such as these, I led the Army in Northern Virginia into harm's way against some of my former comrades in arms in the United States Army and some of my very students from those three years at West Point. After the war, all I wanted to do was purchase a small plantation, live out my days, but it was not to be. In August of 1865, representative from Washington College visited me and offered me the presidency of Washington College. Unlike the four days I took to reject command of the United States Army, I accepted that offer on the spot. The eight years of my life, of which I am the proudest, are the eight years I spent as an educator, the three years as superintendent at West Point, and the five years I spent as the president of Washington College. It was so comforting to wake up in the morning and to make decisions which benefited my students in a positive manner instead of sending them into harm's way.